tonight on Designer to the Stars, I'm going Hawaiian with Virginia Madsen. I love the little hula dancer. Isn't that cool? I'm rescuing another dog. Look at how happy he is. And I'm having trouble talking to my car. Proceed about two miles. No, honey, they don't, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm Carrie Whitman. My life's a little bit crazy. I'm completely nuts. Can you take your shirt off and stand against the wall? Uh, I've been an actress. I've dated celebrities. What was I thinking? I am so over it. Now, I'm an interior designer. Most of my clients are famous. I didn't plan it that way. It just kind of worked that way. I'm definitely very difficult to work for sometimes. I don't know what the hell he's talking full of sh I've been engaged one, two, three times. <laughs> Dogs are a huge passion of mine. So I started a dog rescue foundation. It's all a little bit crazy. I am an interior designer and a dog rescuer. My life is nuts, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Virginia Madsen is one of my new clients. She's an Oscar-nominated actress, and she starred in movies like Sideways and A Prairie Home Companion. She's hired me to design the living room in her new home. I'm going to make this painless no, for this you. No, this is great because, I, you know, I, I've never had, like, a real artist come in and decorate my home before. Well, I'm so going to help you. Keep... I'm going to help you. We just took some stills of the house so we can show you since you came here. So here, obviously, we have this. And I know when I talked to you on the phone, you said, Whatever you do, don't let me lose a view of your mountains. Yeah, because it's almost like, you know, it, it doesn't feel like I'm in L.A., you know? Yeah. And, and it even looks a little bit like Hawaii, so. And then you're doing the outside right now. Yeah, yeah. this is all going to be, the wall will all be, you know, have green in front of it eventually. She's really into Hawaii, into French Polynesian, and she's building this tiki goddess oasis out here. And we're going to build this beautiful French Polynesian room. We want to connect the two. If we found these doors, and they're called accordion doors, it will make you be able to open the whole thing up. Oh. So you're going to get six on each oh. side. So it's really cool. Oh, that's so all you great. Go, isn't that cool? So that's basically what it looks like when it opens to clothing. Do you see? Oh, those are amazing. Do you see what I mean? I know see what, what those it becomes? Are. It's such the movie star home now. It is. So I thought this would be really beautiful on the floor. Beautiful. What's the name of the company we got this from? The company is called Bamboo Flooring Hawaii. But the wood's called palm wood. It's made from um, basically when they take co coconut trees, instead of burning them, they cut the they cut the uh, trees. Well, it's like so it's, eco. it's eco wood. It's, it's eco. eco. It's very eco. You said you wanted some Hawaiian vintage fabric. Oh, I love this. And I love the little hula dancers. Isn't that cool? So I thought we could do it on the wall. Now this is not glazed yet, and it's still wet. It's. And it will be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Isn't that hysterical? Oh my god, it's so great. <laughs> Isn't it great? Look at the Elvis. That's really It's cool. going to be a little bit more aged. This is still because it's not right. dry enough, so we couldn't put it. We just did it. So we found this fabric that she loved. It's vintage 1920s Hawaiian fabric. So we're going to copy that fabric and paint, actually, that fabric all over the walls. We, I thought about painting the ceiling to look like leather. Tell me oh, what you I think mean, about that. that. Would be great. Wouldn't that like be cool? This? Yes. And this one, I totally loved. I thought this was really great. So I want to put this on the couch. It's this for the couch. couch. Yeah, I love that. But I think I also have to think about lots of kids, kids and you know, lots of 11-year-old boys. <laughs> 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 My son's going to be a teenager in another year. And I want the house to be filled with his friends. You know, the kids should be able to have a party just as much as the grown-ups should be able to have a party. How do you blend? those two things, where it's fun, but it's still grown up, and that's what Carrie's for. So we could do one side of the pillows in this, and then the other side in something that's just more simple and durable that you can turn over for the dogs and the kids, if you want Great. dogs and the cats. That's a really good idea. So we could do and that. Practical. And practical. The Virgo likes the practical time. <laughs> oh, God, my hockey players are Virgo. <laughs> no, can you tell me about that later? The Virgo men? OK, Virgo I can tell you. Too. No, you don't want to be, OK. <laughs> I need help on that one. I was thinking of putting four sconces in there, and I found those yeah, bamboo lighting sconces. Lighting is everything, darling. It is everything. Carrie's sort of a lot like me in a way. You know, she's she's got a lot of energy, and she's um, she's a positive thinker, and she likes other people's ideas, and she um, takes your ideas and sort of incorporates them into something that's really beautiful. These are from Hawaii. 
And these are these hand painted shades, and there's two of them. I don't know which one you. I love this one. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love that now one. Now look and look. See, at, because that's, that's what it feels like there. That's you know? it. Yeah. It's that's really what warm it feels and cozy like. And, and yeah. oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, isn't that cool? Oh, I'm in love with If you like to read, him. we could put like a chair and have a little stand. And oh, that would yeah. Be I mean, check this out. I don't have the whole thing. Okay, but that isn't is it cool? so cool. And then I'd have a man at home. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> but not a Virgo. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to take Virginia's blank slate living room and turn it into a Polynesian paradise. I've decided to knock out the whole back wall and put in some floor to ceiling accordion doors. We're giving the walls a paint job inspired by vintage Hawaiian fabrics. I'm going to bring in some new furniture and vintage lighting. I cannot wait to get started. Thank you so much. I'm really Sweetie. excited. OK, I appreciate you. I'll talk to you soon, right. and I'll call you, and we'll work it out. So you're going to be tearing down my wall. I'm tearing down your wall. Okay. Don't kill me. I'll see you later. So I have this great new client, Virginia Madsen, who is a doll, and I adore her. But I've also got this new car, and I adore it, but it's driving me crazy. Proceed about one oh mile. Oh my god, he's telling me what to do. Turn left. OK, baby, I'm turning left. After one half mile, turn left. OK, that's not right. What is he talking about? Left turn ahead, and then turn right at the first street. No, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Let's just proceed about two miles. Ex no, honey, they don't. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Two miles. If we take this two miles, it's gonna go. Wait a minute. This is what I'm worried about. These navigation systems. They don't. They don't work. And then you're late, and you can't blame it on the navigation system because people think you're crazy. I'm okay. <laughs> so we've got to get stuff for Virginia, and they have the best stuff here. It's kind of French, Polynesian, Polynesian. We need some more chairs. We need any kind of cool knickknacks. He's got great stuff here. This is like one of my favorite places. Look at all this cool stuff you got, huh? I need a couple things. I need some stuff for Virginia's house. I don't think we're short on stuff right now. Can you hold that? That's perfect for Virginia's house. Do you have it in the couch size also? Uh, I think that's the large size. I have a chair size. Oh, oh, here's a chair. Perfect. OK, so save me this one and that yeah. couch. And I need a couple more things. Let's head on that OK, one. let's do that. Do you have anything else like kind of French Polynesian? Um. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Hold it. So hold that one. You got it. Yeah. Oh, there's a round table. That would work for Virginia's house, too. Wow, she will love this. These are cool. Those will work in her in her tiki room. You got the square ones, too. Yeah. That, looks, that looks a little phallic. <laughs> Say, why do you have a big in your store? Where? where, where? <laughs> what, is, what is that supposed to be? Uh, well, that's... I mean, I don't know about... <laughs> <laughs> and it glows at night. <laughs> oh, my god. You don't need a man anymore. You just turn on your whatever it is. This board is how Carrie Whitman stays sane. This is basically my Bible. Um, one side are all my dogs, and the other side are all my clients. I work to make money to save dogs and to give back. Actually, now I have one space open on my board. I can go find an amazing dog. I can go save a life. I'm looking at dogs at the shelter that they're trying to tell me they're all going to die tomorrow. Look at these. All of these dogs right here are going to die tomorrow at the shelter. They're beautiful. Look at him. I mean, I can't take them all. Look at his little ears. Look how cute this dog is. Oh, he's cute. We should get him. This dog is so placeable and so cute. Paul, Peeny, and Panina. One of them should go over there to the shelter and get them. I'm not, I don't go to the shelters. I'm like an alcoholic with drinking mm -hmm. with dogs at a shelter. Like, if I go to a shelter, I will walk out with, I will walk out with the entire shelter. And I don't know where I think I'm going to put these dogs, but I just make it happen somehow. This traffic is unbelievable. Which way is that goes? I'm going, I'm going west. Yeah. Can't figure out how to use this navigation system. Proceed about one mile. It's talking to me. This thing, I hate this navigation system. It's telling me to do things. Turn left. Wait, hold on. There should be a way No, you can't. Just please. No, that's not how you clear it. You got to talk to it to clear it. Hold on a second. No. I don't want you to screw with the navigation system again until we get somebody in here, OK? okay. Proceed about two miles. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I'm losing it. Get in here. 
here. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Brian. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Carrie. Here's your coffee. <laughs> so sweet. For all of you new people, I work so late on dog stuff at night that the one luxury I have for myself is I get to wake up and we do this. Plus, I like to feed the squirrels and watch them eat, so it's kind of corny, but okay, what's happening with the squirrel house, Warren? Well, I want to hang it up, but I can't reach the trees out there without falling off the balcony. I feel bad when it rains. They're out there freezing. Can we get someone, can't we hire someone to install the squirrel house? I'm sure we can. Picture hanger guy. I bet he could do it. Do you want to call him? Sure. Okay, so who wants to start? What we do is we go over lists. Okay, order fabric from Caraggio. We need four yards for Virginia Madsen's couch. You should call Nadia and ask her if she can make us just a regular coffee table made out of fabric. Like Cantina Doors is set up for 10 a.m. 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Also, we need to worry about getting the dogs placed. Oh, yeah, we need to talk about those foster. Then we're going to go to the pound, pick up a dog, which is the best part of the day, saving your life. By the end of the day today, uh -huh. I want to have a foster home for Rufus and a foster home for Star. Oh, and you need to call El Dodd and tell him what time to meet us over there, because I will not walk into that shelter. Put that on the list, my list today when we're out, mm -hmm. we're in the car driving around. My car, I cannot figure out how to work the navigation system. Yeah. It's going, right it starts speaking to me, now it's speaking to me in French. So I'm at Virginia Madsen's house to check on the progress of the painting. I like that, perfect. Perfect, that so pulls it right, right in. Now. Perfect. And then maybe like in the tiki guy, you can put make his eyes blue or, you know what I mean? I don't know. This is Breta and Kavari. They're amazing. They make me look good. We'll add blue here, blue here. Yeah. I come in with designs and they just help make it happen. I'm a little picky and I drive them a little crazy, but we get it done. <laughs> little tiki girls all the way up. Um, palm tree. Palm tree. <laughs> palm tree, palm tree, palm tree. Maybe a palm tree and a tiki girl. <laughs> She's done. always fun and challenging to work with. Very challenging. <laughs> Always comes out rather fabulous in the end. Definitely. I mean, who else is going to have you painted little girls on their walls, okay? <laughs> Basically, when you're doing walls to make them look old, you put your base on, then you put any kind of figures, stencils. In this case, we're doing little Hawaiian girls. So let's, do you guys want to mix the glaze then? And then you custom mix a great color, which you can do with wall makeup. And you put it over it, and you can make it antique so it looks like it's been there hundreds and hundreds of years. Now we're getting at it. Yeah, that's pretty good. OK, you guys, so I'm going to the pound now. Bye, Terry. So now we're going to the shelter. I have no fosters for the dogs I have, and I have a weakness for a dog over at the shelter that I'm going to go check out. Hey. Hi, Gary. How are you doing? How are you doing, Shira? Going to go into the shelter? I can't go in the shelter. I'll walk out with 500 dogs. So Can you, know you bring what? the dog Maybe out? I'll bring the dog out, OK? Yeah. Hey, good boy. Come on, Shira. Oh, he's so oh, cute. Oh, sweetheart. What happened to your little leg? <laughs> it's not his hip. It feels like it's his knee. It's his, yeah, it's his left. It's cruciate. It's your cruciate, isn't it, baby? There's a lump right here. Oh, look at this. It's like a... Um... It looks like a tick, but it's not. It's a growth. Oh, bless his little heart. Sweetie love, you look really like you need a little bit of love. OK, well, I'll take him. I can't say no now. What am I going to do, let him go in there and die? Look at how happy he is. Yay! He's got a shell. Your first dog working with me. What are you going to name it? He looks like a Franklin. Franklin? Yeah. That's cute. Franklin. 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 Yeah, where'd you come up with the name Franklin? Why did you decide on Franklin? A Benjamin Franklin. He looks like an old grandpa, so I got yeah. Franklin. That's good. Welcome to Ace of Hearts Dog Rescue. <laughs> <laughs> now you're working with me, you're going to become nuts, just oh, like me. Gosh. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the dog over to Dr. Gralix. He's going to get his, his hips and his legs x-rayed. And then we're going to get him into a foster home, and then we're going to try to get him home. So here's the issue. OK. I don't know what the hell is going on in my car. I can get it to drive. Here, why don't you get in the front? OK. I'll get in the front. Let's say I'm here, and I want to go to an address. OK. What do I do? One of the problems I see right away is you're in the wrong part of the United States. <laughs> now, well, no wonder. I'm in North Carolina with Warren. Actually, you did that. <laughs> she's right. She's in Tennessee and North Carolina. I'm in, in North Tennessee Carolina. and in North Carolina. <laughs> how do I get out of here and how do I get it off? You're going to wait for the beep and you're going to say navigation cancel guidance. I wait for the beeps and then I say navig or the beep, navigation cancel guidance. Yeah. You want to practice a voice, a voice, a different voice command? I'm so tired. I'm trying to retain all this, but my, um, I need more RAM in my head really bad. You want to um, practice voice commands? You want to see? Yeah, okay. Navigation, Italian restaurant. 
sorry. Navigation, Italian restaurant. Navigation, Italian restaurant. But oh, wait a second, why didn't it work for me? Can I, I would rather have a, a male talk to me. Um, navigation, Chinese restaurant. Sorry. <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm telling you, he doesn't like me. Let me try again. Navigation, Chinese restaurant. Navigation, Chinese. That's wrong. <laughs> That's just wrong. That. Yeah. No, but I'm not doing anything different than what you're doing. No. Oh my God! Now I've got to learn how to speak to my car. <laughs> and let me give you just a couple of pointers. It's a combination of your diction and your speed, and also you don't have to yell at it. You can talk in a car. <laughs> You're not doing anything wrong. It's just that, that's why we're practicing is so that you get the hang of it. We're going to go back and we're going to change it and see if it understands you better. In a male voice? In a male voice. <laughs> Give it this shot. Say uh, navigation POI off. That's points of interest. Navigation POI off. Navigation POI off. He thinks I'm a man. You got a lot of, you got... I don't have a voice like a man. He thinks I'm a man. He thinks you're a woman. Well, you're... He's got some serious problems in there. I have your cell phone number that I will call you 24 hours a day if this doesn't work. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anytime. Okay. I appreciate it. Now we're going to check up on the dog I rescued from the shelter. You ready, babe? Yep. Hey, Dean. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. How is everything? Dean's the best pet in the world. Thanks. Why don't you come on back? OK, let's go check out Franklin. There's Franklin. So we removed the growths, and um, we actually groomed him. Why is he shaking? I think because we shaved a lot of his hair, mm -hmm. and he was all matted, so I think he's actually a little cold. He's also a little nervous because uh, he's not used to being on camera. Yeah. This is his first. I'm serious. You ready to go? Uh, We're going to go to our new foster home? How can someone dump a dog at the pound that's 10 years old? I mean, come on, people, get it together. So I'm here at Franklin's house, and there was a lot of interest in him a couple days ago at the dog adoption. These people may have fell in love with Franklin. So they've done an overnight with Franklin, the trial, and I'm going to go and they want to adopt him. Um, and I want to go in and just check out to see if it's going to work for me, if they're going to meet up to all the expectations that I need for Franklin. If not, then I'm taking him back. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. I'm Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Nice to meet you. Nice Felicia. to meet you, Felicia. Craig, Craig. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. There he is. He's a star. The man of the hour. Yes, how are you doing? So how's it going with him? How, how's everything going? Great. He's a very happy dog. And it's really sweet that you guys adopted an older dog. I think it's a really selfless thing to do. You know what I mean? Because, you know, older dogs that aren't around as long, but they still have just as much love to give and just as much of a heart. And so that's really good. So do you have any issues with him that you're not happy with? He has stinky breath sometimes. He does? Yeah. Well, we'll have to fix that. I'll give you guys some stuff that will help with that a little bit. Um, it's hard. It's like older people get kind of stinky breath sometimes, you know? Tell them what his new name is, Veronica. You guys changed his name from Franklin? To Carlos. Carlos? Yeah. Now, why Carlos? What's the meaning of Carlos? I like the name. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thanks a lot. Just remember, if you need anything, call me. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm really happy. It's a pretty good home. I gotta go meet La Cantina Doors. They're here. I'll, I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, bye bye. So I'm at Virginia's right now, and we're putting in the doors, which is so exciting. These doors are phenomenal. What kind of wood is this? It's mahogany. Oh, it African is. African mahogany, yeah. So our finish is really nice. These doors are so beautiful. It completely changes the room. Oh, and are they are they uh, du dual glazed? Dual glazed, yeah. Wow, that's nice. Wow, that's gonna be beautiful. So these we're just waiting. You're waiting to do the texture on, right? Yes. Yeah. 
These figures take a long time. <laughs> I was going to say, you guys don't take this long. Lots of little figures. OK. The painting's taking longer than I expected, but you know, that's the way it goes. And I think it's going to be cool. I mean, I think she's going to be really happy with it, but I'm going to have to step on it a little bit. So uh, you got the ceiling done, huh? Yeah. What do you think? Can we make it a little shinier? You know, the we can go over it one more time with Is the oil. It the, it's, the, it's, it's just that it soaks in, you know, a little it's bit. It's because of the, the orange peel thing, yeah, right? a little bit, yeah. A little disappointed with the ceiling because it's soaking the paint up. This kind of wall finish, these, it's called the orange peel finish, which I hate. I don't like the way the ceiling looks, so I'm going to change it a little bit. It's got to be shiny. It's got to look lacquery. It's got to be, it's got to look like leather. You need to call and ask him if he can polyurethane the ceiling. OK. As the job goes on, if I see something I don't like, I just change it. Do you want us to actually put in some darker areas? I think it might look good like that. I've done entire rooms and come back in and repainted the entire room because I didn't like it. You really should. That grate looks awful. That vent is so awful. I mean, the vent's like, oh, look at me. I'm a big vent. So I'm going to go find an antique, really cool wrought iron vent. Give that measurement to Michelle. I need to find a beautiful grill. That, that looks bad. I'm not frazzled when something goes wrong. Like I say, there's never problems. There's only solutions. Oh, I think we're supposed to go right here. Ding, ding. Even after that lesson, I still don't get this thing. Now the thing won't talk to me anymore. It won't talk to me. So I have to push this waypoint thing. Can I push the space on this thing? I don't want that. Thank you. How do you go back? Oh, and they... After two tenths of a mile, turn right. OK, that's not right. That's not right. I don't know how to handle this GPS. I mean, I basically have to get another college degree to figure out how to work it. <laughs> Next time, Virginia Madsen finds a Hawaiian paradise in her living room. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna start crying. <laughs> I battle with an animal control officer. How many dogs do you have in there? This one. If we would have been half a minute later, we wouldn't have ever been able to save that little life. And furniture shopping takes a really strange turn. Well, it's just camel bone. And camel it's bone? Would they kill with the camels Anna. to do this? Well. Do you eat camel? No, I haven't. <laughs> For more designer to the stars, check out we.tv.